with the arrival of episode 9 we can now at least process a bit on what happened in last week's episode plus this week's episode for starters the plan by those in cahoots with the gun devil to kidnap denji ends up in failure with both their side and public safety having quite the casualties and in the middle of all the blood and gore what have we learned here today first Himeno's ghost devil lived long enough to activate Denji, and whether that was a last attempt to fight the baddies or not, that remains to be seen. Second, I find it odd that power simply disappeared. Just like that. No scene depicting where she went or what she did after Himeno's sacrifice. I don't know the reason behind her disappearance, but until then, I'll withhold saying anything about power's whereabouts third makima went to work today like she really went to work today and the way that she killed her opponents today absolutely overpowered to say the least though i found it a bit too convenient for team gun devil that only the npcs got killed by makima and these two pretty much got off scot-free from her instant kill move plot armor doing the heavy lifting today for these two. Fourth, Kobeni. This girl. Her descent into sheer instability and madness after Arai's death, it really reminds us of that quote from Himeno's master, where the insane are what the devils fear the most. And in effect, they are also the ones that tend to live the longest. And based on that, I guess it's safe to assume that we'll be seeing Kobeni for quite a long time. And last but not the least, I'm getting the feeling that this entire two episode bloodbath was an inside job. What gave it away for me? Definitely Madoka. Whoever this guy is, I mean, I simply find it suspicious that the guy handed his resignation after such an event and then suddenly pro about how much Magma knew that something like this would have happened, it's as if he's testing the strength of Team Gun Devil's secrecy and how effective Makima's counterintelligence is with just one question. And it still wouldn't surprise me if Madoka wasn't an insider but someone else, simply because this scene alone did more than enough for me to consider such a possibility. And with that said, that's basically it for me for this episode. I uh, thank you all for watching and see you guys in the next episode.